doing? <laughs> you say good morning? You say hi there. What did you find? Let's see if she'll walk. Come on. No, you cheating. <laughs> Stand up. Okay, let's go. Ready? Let's go. You can do it. Come on. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Good job, Tater. Good job. I think that was probably the most stuff she's taken. Oh, Tatum. So Adam just finished taking the big kids to school. He's on his way back right now. I just finished getting ready for the day. I have a doctor's appointment. Um, it's just to get blood work. Adam, he can probably fill you in on like what he's been going through, but he has to take testosterone and he just thought it would be beneficial for me to get my blood work done. Chloe, what? Please, please. Um, so that's where I'm headed once he gets back home. Um, once our nana gets here, I'm going to leave and go get that done. And then I need to get, um, a prescription from CVS that was called in. I went to the dermatologist yesterday and we went to pick it up. It wasn't ready yet. So I need to go pick up that. I'm getting on to doxycycline, I think is what it's called. I've just been having a lot of skin issues. Like the older I get, I feel like it's supposed to get a little bit better, but it's not. It's getting worse um especially like on my chest and my back for whatever reason um i'm breaking out really bad so uh we talked about possibly getting on accutane um i know that's like a huge thing um so we're kind of like weighing out the pros and cons but yeah my acne has just been really bad lately and it's just like an insecurity of mine that i want to get to the root cause of so yeah that's what I have going on this morning. And then later on this afternoon, we have a meeting with Brooklyn. So that's what I have going on today, but I will be vlogging. Um, this sweatshirt is super cute. I'll show you guys my outfit. I kind of tucked it in. And then my jeans and my flats. I'll have everything linked below though. Whoa, is that fun? <laughs> Careful of your hands. Careful, good job. the sun go down over the same old town like so many times before we look at the same old stars battle the same old wars like so many times before and i know that we're not perfect Okay, Brooklyn and I are checking on the progress at the new warehouse. I haven't been here in, is it locked? Yeah. I haven't been here in a couple weeks. She's saying it's Floor's almost done. done. Okay, so we have flooring, no, no light, no electrical. So this is the size. This is where t-shirt production, like graphic tees are gonna take place. Yeah. Our printer, dryer. So that's what you think we should put here? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I just think that way it's a little separate in that everyone. Like if me and yeah. on one side. Like yeah, I agree. Social and then graphic is over here. Okay. That way we have their own space and if he's on the calls and things that they don't ever yeah. out. Okay. And then this is all done. Yeah, this looks it's literally done. Finished. 
Okay. <laughs> Just like little things now. Oh, so close. This would be break room. Okay. That's what I'm thinking. An extra. And this is where the kitchenette would be? It would be on the other side. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, potential try on area. Okay. So, you just divide it. Yeah, because it is. Bathroom. And then. Okay. But do you think three desks are gonna fit right here? I think so, because right now, if you think about how much I have in that. But if we have a kitchenette right here, that might take up some space. Yeah. For but my potential you desk. Figure, like one facing this way, that one's like circular. So face this yeah. way, face this way, face this way. Yeah, you would have to position them probably a little bit different, but. Yeah. Okay. okay, we just finished up at the warehouse. Adam and I are on our way to lunch. We're going to Gloria's. It's our new favorite place to eat. We've actually never been for dinner. We only go for lunch. Oh, it's yeah. a good lunch spot. Is this considered dinner? No, it's lunch. We've never been for dinner. Oh. We decided to make the He Is Risen um, graphic, which is like one of our best selling graphics on Typically Blush, which just makes me so happy. But we decided to put on, on a corded pullover and I love it so that's why I'm wearing <laughs> a different outfit um, but the warehouse is getting close I'm really excited to finally like get in there and get settled in there and start mapping everything out get everything organized so that I can like work with Adam in Brooklyn every day and like go to the warehouse and be able to have like a desk to work at because right now there's no room for me to like sit down and work there. That's why I'm not there often because we just outgrew that space so fast, but it's getting, it's getting close. Cheers. So I got the brisket quesadilla. I went here yesterday with Vanessa for lunch and I got the same thing. It was really good, so I got it again. And Adam got the quail with a side of what? Rice? Black rice. Whatever. Have you tried it? No, it's too hot. Way too hot. It is much later now. All the kids are in bed. After we got home from lunch, I had some work obligations I had to film and send to my management team for Instagram. Um, hi, Chloe. Now I am... Um, now that the kids are all in bed, Adam had to go back to work to finish up some stuff there. We have a launch tomorrow, so I am about to steam everything. Here's everything that's launching. Some things up there, some accessories. The kids' purses launch tomorrow. So I'm just getting everything steamed and then put up on that rack there so I can film my try-on in the morning. Yeah. Here's to the good days. To the sorrows if this is a mistake i know about tomorrow i don't want to fight no more because i don't feel the need no more no just want to make it stop maybe it's something in the water or maybe we just hit the end of the road right now it doesn't even matter it's too late not to live How cute are these new bows? I just got this package in from one of our favorite bow shops, Baby Bee Handmade. Um, I'll link them below, but how freaking cute. They remind me so much of Tatum's birthday theme. This is actually for Tatum's birthday. I got a few different colors of these to go at the kids' table. Um, you guys will see more of like her theme in my video that goes up tomorrow, but I just can't get over these cute little prints. They're so adorable. 
I love this one too. So cute. This is some more stuff for Tatum's birthday that I've ordered. So this is gonna be uh, one of the centerpieces for one of the kids' tables. They're little felt daisies. These are from Etsy. I thought they were perfect for um, her birthday. And then I think this is gonna be Tatum's birthday dress. Isn't that cute? So, yeah, she can wear it like all spring and summer too, but I thought it was perfect for her little wild one theme. Okay, I'm trying to make sure that <laughs> the camera is in focus now because the last few clips have been blurry, so I'm sorry about that. But um, I was gonna wait until Adam got home from work to kind of explain what we're doing and what led us to go get our blood work done for to check our horm hormones basically. So um, the testosterone clinic that I went to, Adam went there because he's been struggling for a long time now with a lot of different things. Um, he struggles with anxiety, depression, uh, mood swings, uh, a whole bunch of different things. And a lot of those things we thought were related to the military and a lot of them are, but um, he was, just uh basically prescribed with um antidepressants and stuff to kind of mask it and he was frustrated with the side effects that he was experiencing on anti antidepressants and so he finally took it into his own hands and wanted to like find the root cause of why he was feeling this way and come to find out um after he got his testosterone checked he has very, 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 very low levels, like levels of a 90 year old man. So obviously that's not good. And so now he's taking testosterone, um, injections once it, or not once a day, once a week. Um, and after going through this whole process, he thought it would be beneficial if I got my levels checked because, um, there's just some symptoms that I'm experiencing that are obviously aren't normal. The main one being a low sex drive, um, sleep inconsistencies, anxiety, depression, low energy, acne, a bunch of different things that could all play into estrogen, progesterone, um, and testosterone. So that's why I got my levels checked. I would have never probably done that if it wasn't for Adam recommending I do it. I went to the same place he did. Now he's getting seen through the VA. Um, but yeah, we'll find out on Friday. Hopefully she said she would give me a call with my results. I'm not really expecting them to be off, but it's nice to like get them checked to see for sure. So yeah, and then I went to the dermatologist, like I said, for acne because my acne has been pretty bad lately. Not so much on my face, but my chest and my back. Um, is pretty bad and i've struggled with acne my whole life but now that i'm getting older it's getting worse and now that i'm done having kids i feel like it's a good time to possibly consider accutane and so yeah i went to the doctor or the dermatologist and she prescribed me doxycycline and we're gonna i'm gonna take that for the time being until I can get on Accutane because Accutane is a whole process. You have to get on um, birth control, you have to do blood work, you have to make sure you're not pregnant by doing multiple pregnancy tests before you even start on the medication. So it's gonna take a while for me to even get to the point where I could take Accutane. Um, I could start probably, if all goes according to plan, in like three months so for the time being i'm on doxycycline to hopefully get my acne under control um and yeah that's where we're at but i will keep you guys updated as much as i can i'm also going to get like lasers done on my face and my chest for like dark spots and acne and stuff like that i'm just really trying to focus on myself this year especially my skin because my skin is like my biggest insecurity and it has been for as long as i can remember ever since i was in like middle school and I'm just like ready to like make myself a priority when it comes to my skin. So I'm doing a lot of different things. I'm drinking a lot of water during the day. I'm taking my vitamins religiously. Um, I'm taking liquid collagen. I am trying to cut out dairy as much as I can, uh, sugar as much as I can. I've cut back a lot on those things, which is really, really hard for me. Um, 
and yeah i'm just like really trying to get my skin under control um but i will like i said keep you guys posted on my skin journey i guess um but yeah that was kind of like long-winded but i think i'm gonna end the video here adam is still not home from work that's why he's not here with me he's still uh printing graphics at the warehouse you guys loved that he has risen graphic which thank you guys so much for your support on that um and he's just working away at the warehouse trying to get those orders out to you guys so i'm by myself but i'm watching um julia and hunter havens they're like one of my favorite vloggers they're super cute they don't have kids yet so can't really relate but i like watching their videos so anyways i'm gonna watch the rest of this vlog and then probably get in the shower and get in bed and wait for adam to get home so i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up if you did don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys in my next one bye but not as much as this though.